April 18, 2016, a fire was reported on the fourth floor of a six-story commercial structure in Champaign, Illinois. The responding fire team was outfitted with the header heads-up display system. You will be participating as a member of that team. In our vision for header, the system integrates directly with existing SCBA gear, requiring only the addition of a control unit and a new mask with an embedded display. Looking a little closer at the mask, you can see that the transparent OLED display covers the entire surface of the SCBA mask. This gives header a large, high-resolution display to present an augmented reality view to the firefighter. The firefighter filters and controls the data displayed by header using an augmented reality interface displayed on his glove. All of the controls can be accessed using one hand, leaving his other hand free. Header presents the firefighter with five data elements that appear constantly in his mask. Air remaining shows not just how much air is left in the tank, but also an estimate of how much time is left based on the tank pressure and breathing rate. Temperature and trend makes it possible for the firefighter to know how hot it is in the fire without putting himself at risk for burns. Exit path and egress points shows the firefighter the location of the nearest egress point. Breadcrumb path shows the firefighter the path he has taken to get to his current location. Team location shows the firefighter the location of all other firefighters on scene. Now that you've had a brief introduction to header, it's time for you to conduct a search and rescue. As you conduct your search, pay attention to the data displayed by header and how it helps orient you. Stopping at the door to the first office, you engage the thermal imaging overlay by swiping your hand down across your mask. With the thermal imaging overlay enabled, you scan the room. With the room survey complete, you disengage the thermal imaging overlay by swiping your hand up across your mask and continue your search. You work your way around the outside edge of the room to the point of entry and exit into the hall. Once you're back in the hall, you glance down at the back of your glove to check your radio settings and your vitals. As you are getting ready to continue your search, a radio call comes in. I found the fire. It's in the rafters between the third and fourth floors. You look at your left palm to see the on-demand options available and select the team status option. You then find Mincy's name on the list of team members to call up his status. After checking in on Mincy and seeing that everything is under control, you go back to the main on-demand menu to check for any contaminants in the environment. You move down the hall to the doorway of the next office. Once again, you scan the room with the thermal imaging overlay before entering the room. Before you can make your way into the office, the header system suddenly alerts you to a rapid temperature change. You turn around and follow your breadcrumb path back out of the office and into the hall. Just as you exit, the office is engulfed in flame. Right, you go ahead. 